Hi, welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today I am so, so excited. We are gonna be going over the Blendyful. I'm so, so excited to try this product from Tati. I um, I bought this not so long ago, but I just didn't have time to review it and kind of play around with it. It's still in this little package here, and today is the day. So let's go ahead and get her open. So this is the product here. It feels very soft. Very, very nice. Like that. And a baby. So it's like mama bear and baby. So, so cute. So I know that they used like a poreless uh, primer. I'm just going to go ahead and use a pore primer, the pore professional. I'm going to go ahead and use that to prime my face. honestly one of my favorite um, primers for my face and it smells so so good and makes my face feel really nice I'm gonna use this foundation here today this is just one that I've been picking up lately and we're gonna go ahead and use this Tati Blendyful and I don't know if to apply it onto this or onto the skin so I'm gonna do the skin just straight to my face Ooh, that might be a little too much I use this. I'm gonna use one of the corners and just. I'm gonna start by dabbing it just like that. I know she said to do like little swifting motions. I just feel like this would be better for it to get into my skin. Hmm. It's going into my skin right away. Not a lot of it is going on to this blendable which makes me feel like all the product is going straight to my face and I'm not wasting any of it. I do like that I don't have to wet this like my beauty sponge here. I like how it's going onto my skin. I don't see anything that I don't like. I do watch Paige Corin. Watch her if you guys haven't seen her YouTube. It's she's amazing. And I know that she had some difficulties the first time. She was getting little fuzzies on her face. And she was recommending for you to wash your blendyful first. I don't have that problem. I feel like my skin looks flawless. And everything is blending right away. Putting a little more on my face just because I want a full, full coverage. This is working so, so good. Wow. I do like it. I feel like it evens out my makeup more. It's going straight into my skin and not the blendiful. All right, so next thing well, I wanna go ahead and start to conceal. I'm using Pretty Vulgar. I got this in one of my boxes. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't have a, like a super light color. I just feel like this covers my dark, dark under eye area and just makes everything a lot smoother. And now I'm gonna go in with a different corner. Just kind of bend it a little. Can, she said you can bend it. And just start to press that down. Wow, it's like magic. It's like it does all the work for you. Did you see that? Usually with the beauty blender, I'll have to do that, like work into it. That was like butter. Wow. I, hmm. I like that. 
I'm just gonna keep on going. Look, look how smooth that goes onto the skin. Oh my gosh. Wow. I might have to use this like all the time now. I wasn't like super excited when I found out about this. I just thought like, okay, it's just another tool. Like I love like having a ton of like brush stuff. So I'm like, okay, you know, it's something else that I can use. But this is like magic. Wow, you know what? Let's try some Laura Mercier setting powder here because this is what's going to tell me. I'm going to use the other corner here. I'm going to grab some onto that like that and just start pressing down. Oh my gosh. It doesn't make my face look cakey. It is just doing its job just like it's supposed to. I am very impressed right now. I'm very happy. She said you can use the blendable light for foundation, concealer, just everything in one little thing right here. And I'm not seeing any problems. I am loving the Blendyful. So Tati, sorry, I was just like, it's just another tool. This is like amazing. And I can use my baby Blendyful like on the go and I'm always on the go. So honestly, I think that's like the best little product for me just because I can always like set my face during the day. Like if I need that, wow. What a difference. You know what? Let's see. I'm going to use this Gigi Gorgeous um, bronzer. It's the first thing I picked out here. And I'm going to bend this little corner here and see how it does with that. Let's test her out. Okay, I can't even shake that. Okay, let's, let's just see. Well, I think she's more pigmented than when I would have done that with a brush. So let's see how well it does blending it in with the blending fall. Let's just go ahead and just keep doing it. Never want to drag my face downwards. I don't want to bring my cheek down. I want to bring it upwards. was so quick and easy. Let's do the upper side here. Just kind of blend that in. It's not tugging at my face. It doesn't feel rough. It's very, very soft. You know what? I'm going to bend the other side of my little blendy full and see if I can contour my nose with it. Let's just see how far this goes. I'm just going to grab powder. See how light that is? It almost like does the work for you, like I mentioned. It's just so, so nice. Oh my gosh, okay. I wasn't sure what to expect, but dang, this is this is a life changer. And I don't feel like it got a lot of product onto it. I think it everything mainly just went on my face, so that just means I'm not wasting product, which I love. Um, so I just have to say, I approve that this is a very useful, useful, tool that I can use on my every single day and it has good competition with my beauty blender so all right let's see here I just want to do like a quick little look nothing too crazy and I think I'm pretty much done 
I'm just going to go ahead and apply some setting mist here with the MAC Prep and Prime. I'm done and I'll probably take this on the go to just kind of fix my face or any imperfections that I may have during the day and that's pretty much it. I have to say that I love, love, love the item. I feel bad that Paige Corrin had issues with her beauty blender. I feel like maybe she just had a defective one. I'm not sure what it was. I know that Kelly Strack loved it and didn't have any issues as far as many other people that didn't have issues. So I just had to try this by myself. And just like Tati mentioned, there's no harsh lines. Everything blends seamlessly just like butter. Like butter. And I love the product. I have to say that everyone has to go buy this. This is the product of 2020. So thank you so much, Tati. I appreciate and love all your work. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time.